Disappointed. I didn't think we played uh, very well, but I give a lot of credit for Ohio State. I thought they played exceptionally well. Diop was was really, really good, and uh, their other guys just kind of played within themselves. I thought we did a poor job of doing that, but the problem started with me, so it's uh, be no blaming of the players. Uh, well, we didn't shoot it as well, but right before halftime, when I didn't agree with a couple of major calls, I uh, I did a I do it again, but I uh, that, that was my fault. So I'll take the blame for it. I deserve the blame for it. And I don't know they went they went on like a 12 hole run, but I think they scored seven points in the last minute or eight. Uh, you know we made a, a, a very foolish play, taking a shot with six seconds left instead of you know we knew to take a shot with two or three seconds left, and then they bank in a three. And it was that kind of day, but I. Uh, I was disappointed that I felt our lack of offense dictated our defense, and that shouldn't happen. That should travel. As far as Nick Ward goes, give them credit. They did a good job on him. Give us blame. We did a poor job getting the ball. When he did kick it out, we didn't kick it back in. And I was actually last year very disappointed in how Nick handled things. I was actually very pleased with how Nick handled things. He still got 10 rebounds and, and fought in there. He just, we didn't get him the ball. So the blame, uh, I'm going to take a lot of the blame. Not to take any heat off my team, I don't do that, but uh, that stretch I thought cost us a lot, and uh, I was disappointed with the way it was being officiated at that point, and that call on Jackson I thought was not very good, and uh, so I I didn't handle it very well. Question? Tom, was there any, indi did you see any indications? No, 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 no. You know, don't go searching now. You know, we're 15-2, uh, we're and two, and. Uh, we, uh, we had great practices. There is no thinking we're better than we are. There was none of that. We, uh, we ran up against a team that played awfully well, and the uh, place was hopping. And uh, I told you, this team has some, um, I think they're, they're very young yet, and uh, not as young in minutes played with all those sophomores playing a lot as freshmen, but very young as handling situations. And uh, I questioned how we'd handle the ranking and, and dealing with all the fall that were all around it. And uh, I didn't think we handled it bad. We sure didn't handle it bad in how we practiced. We just didn't play very well tonight. We missed some good shots early, and it was a, what, a three, four point game. And, and then, uh, then uh, they let me in the game, and the game went to hell real quick. Um, how, how can you get Nick Moore involved when teams are going to play him like that? Oh, I, you know, they doubled him after he touched it. We didn't get it to him in the first place. You know, I, I just thought we did a poor job. We, you know, we just come off with 30 assists and 32 baskets, and we had 15. We just dribbled the ball. We did not move the ball very well. We got very stagnant, very one-on-one-ish, which we haven't done all year. Give them credit for that. Uh, they did, uh, you know, some of that was them, and give us blame for that. And so, uh, you know, I'm not uh, – teams have taken Nick away a lot of different ways over the years, and uh, – they actually trapped late, I mean, you know, and he just wasn't real patient with it. They didn't double him before he got the ball. Uh, we could have got him the ball. We weren't looking to get him the ball. I thought uh, a couple of our guys didn't didn't look in there and see it when they needed to, and uh, we'll correct that. You guys, you guys haven't played in this sort of environment this year. How much does that play a role in just sort of being shaken in those moments where something goes from, like you were talking about, the end of the first half from two points to – well, well, it's a good excuse. I mean, we haven't, and I, I said that honestly. You know, that's the difference with having a, a bunch of young guys. You know, it's, uh, it's. Uh, I think a lot of teams have a bunch of young guys around the country, and that's why I think now we're the seventeenth team that lost this week of ranked teams. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of unheard of, and I think it's because. A lot of teams have the same situation, whether it be Arizona or Duke or this team or that team or Michigan State. Um, you know, we did a, you know, they had some veterans. And uh, and I give Chris a lot of credit, but I also say, you know, last year when we played here, they had a player that, you know, was talented, but maybe not a good, as good a team player. And, uh, and those two stars tonight um, weren't playing half the year. So as much as I give Chris credit, I, you know, I, I think Thad did the right thing, getting rid of who he got rid of, and then uh, got to have those two guys back. Uh, it's got some juniors and seniors on it that are damn good, and Chris has done a good job with them. And uh, Diop is uh, 
um, effective, effective player. I thought it hurt us to get Jaron Jackson in foul trouble, but uh, you know, we're going to have to get better at that. <coughs> Tom, Tom, in your four, first four minutes, you, your guys were all over the rim offensively, second chances, and point blank looks. It seemed like after that first timeout, you didn't get that access to the rest of the game. Changed by Ohio State defensively? Uh, I thought some of it was a change by us. I'm sure some of it was a change by them, but I, I thought uh, we just kept quit moving the ball. I mean, we were moving the ball. You're right. We, we, we felt, even at halftime, we felt we had more than a few open looks. We didn't make shots. Uh, we always moving. Not as good, but it was moving decently. And then you now we got down, we just kind of went to a one on one game, and that's not our game. So I'm sure Ohio State made some adjustments. Uh, we didn't uh, we didn't run very good, which we're very good at. But when they're making shots, they don't run as good. And uh, what did they shoot the first half? Uh, 46. 46. We shot 44. You know, other than that splurge. Uh, that uh, the fizzled offense for uh, Ohio State, we weren't awful the first half. And uh, then they came out and scored some buckets. <coughs> we said they hit 10 out of 11 shots in the end of the first and the end of the second, or something like that. So uh, credit goes to them. Some blame goes to me, and our team didn't play as good. You mentioned looking at last year's game, there was that hot start you guys got off to kind of like tonight, and you went to the bench, and they lost the lead. I guess kind of run through that sequence, maybe at that four-minute mark, what happened there. And then you kind of also alluded to the start of the second half, too. Well, I don't know, because, Bob, I, I know you're pretty thorough on what you do, and you, you guys are, too, but wasn't it a two-point game most 90% of the first half? It was like 11 to 4, about the game. No, no, but I said it wasn't the... What was the score with two minutes left in the half? Anybody oh, know? Was time. So I don't think anything happened, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, they're a good team. We're a good team. Um, you know, 11 to 4 because they missed some shots and we made some shots. But, um, you know, if, you, if, you want, if you're asking me if I subbed wrong, um, I'll blame me for the technical. But I'm not blaming me for my substitution pattern because that's what's been so good about this team. Our bench has been good. So Kenny didn't play very well. Um, uh, you know, Tom didn't play exceptionally well, and and Quito didn't play very well. But uh, that's the way we play, and it'll continue. So want to hit on that? I'm cool with it. Tom, I know you said you're not. You think they handled the ranking and all that fine this week? Yeah. Do you buy into any of this at all? That Maybe something like this isn't the worst thing, a humbling. No, I don't. I don't. Sorry, I don't buy into that either. Uh, you you can't be a top team if you, you know, we learned our lessons last year. We got our butts kicked enough last year um, to learn. And you know what? I, the reason I have no problem with the week or, or questioning whether we're looking at the rankings or reading our press clippings is um, we practiced really, really well. Focused, practiced hard, um, pleased with everything we did. As far as that goes, I just think, uh, you know, maybe the first time that we had a deal with, uh, you know, as Dwayne Stevens said, welcome to being good. You know, this is what's going to happen every night, and it'll happen to Ohio State now too. You know, when you're when you're 15 and two, 14 and three, you know, 15 and three, um, they'll get ranked and deservingly should be. Um, you know. You got to handle things a little differently because you're going to get somebody else's best shot. I thought we got the crowd's best shot. I think we got their team's best shot, and and they deserve uh, what they got, and we deserve what we got. You mentioned the lack of uh, offense dictating defense. I wonder, had, had you been curious to kind of see how this group would react when uh, yeah. the seven for twenty-five night comes? Yeah, I, I, I was, and uh, wasn't. It's not something I want to um, see again. You know, so. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like the way we handled it. I just. It was nobody pouting. Nobody just firing shots. I just didn't think we were moving the ball. We weren't screening. We. We kind of took ourselves out of it. And so, uh, but if you really looked at the whole thing, um, and I'm not saying this to. If, if somebody thinks I'm blaming me to take the pressure off my guys, the way I abuse my guys in public, that ain't happening. Okay. 
I said that because I took the wind out of their sail and and uh, I didn't do a very good job. And consequently, they didn't do a very good job. Now, I always said with our point guards, when the head dies, the body goes. Well, I'll say with the coaching staff, when the head coach cuts his head off, the body kind of dies and that's your team. So um, it just seemed like it would be hard to blame the players for that when I thought that stretch right there, a couple tough calls, about a couple moving screens on the base on and Jaron's, you know, maybe I'm wrong on it, but you know, um, I thought this day and age, I I think that's worthy of uh, I don't know, maybe a salt battery. I don't, you know, maybe we find something. And uh, we're, we're getting to the point where we put our arms up and we think that's okay, just if we move a long distance. And I, you know, like I said, I. I I saw it the way I saw it, and I said what I said, and uh, deserved the technical, but I want my mother to know I didn't swear at him. <laughs> um, you, you've coached against basically a couple of times now, and you've obviously seen some of the best players in the country throughout the season. Just what's your assessment of maybe his, his improvement that he's made this year? Now? Well, I think being healthy, you know, I recruited the, uh, you know, I liked him as a, as a freshman, I, I really did, but uh, I, I think he's, uh, improved his game and I, I think what I like about his game is his mid-range game is, better, is the best part of his game you know and not many guys are like that he's very patient in there and uh, you know we didn't we didn't do a great job on him we gave him a couple that were just wide open we were over helping on people but um, I, I was impressed yeah I, I thought he did a great job he's made himself a, a better player but I think two-thirds of that is he's 100 percent healthy which he hasn't been that often uh, especially all of last year. Yep, time for one or two more, Jar. Tom, you and, and Dad had a lot of great games against each other over the years. Um, just this Ohio State basketball program, is this a program that, that feels like it should play at the top of the league when things are, are going right here? I know it's just Christmas first year, it's just one game. Oh, 100%. With the AD they got, the facilities they got, um, they have. Uh -huh. You know, I, I, I don't think there's any question. And I, and I think for the most part, that had it there. You know, I really do. I mean, he played for some championships. He played in Final Fours. You know, he it was a tough go last year with, uh, you know, sometimes when you get caught, kids leaving early and the way things go, you take kids that maybe you shouldn't take. And I've done that too a few times in my career. And when that happens, it destroys a lot of things. And you add those two injuries. I mean... <coughs> Um, and if you really look back on a number of games, they were they were right in and just couldn't get over the hump. Um, you know, I thought he did a great job, and I think Chris, uh, uh, he left them something nice to work with, and I think he's done a good job in carrying that. But Ohio State, are you kidding me? With the fan base, with the, um, you know, we've proven you can have a good football team and a good basketball team, and so, have, so has Ohio State. Uh, they've been a good basketball program, you know, and uh, I don't see any reason why they can't uh, even build on that even more. You know, you, you get a great administration um, and uh, great support like like they have here. There's no reason why they can't. I'll think to Nick real quick. When you think about the things that in the past that have frustrated him, to see him tonight, it seems like there were points he could have, you know, gone to that place again and right. frustrated and kind of. Well, that's what he, he said. It was a positive for me with Nick. Um, he was ten times better than last year. You know, this year it was us. Last year it was Nick, and uh, that shows great maturity on Nick's part. You know, I still battle for ten rebounds. It wasn't one huddle. He said one word, and uh, I, I really, uh, as everybody's, it's well documented since our uh, since our meeting in. Uh, Rutgers, I've been really, really pleased with the way Nick has worked, handled things, worked on his free throws. Um, and tonight, on a tough situation for him, I thought he handled it extremely well. With Miles, uh, he got aggressive late in the game there a little bit. Is, it, is that something you wanted to see more of? Or yeah. yeah, I do not think Miles had one of his better games, or even close to it, you know. And, and uh, I just thought that if you really looked at everything, I mean, even when we were tied, you know, I mean, just because we got up 11 to 4, I mean, you're going to make a run. You're gonna, basketball's a game of runs. But I just felt like, um, you know, 
it seemed like I got us out of sync there a little bit, and that's when we didn't do a good job moving the ball and all that, and let the zebras get you know in the way of, of me doing my job and my players doing their job, and that's so Nick was more mature this year and Tom was less mature, and uh, so maybe Nick will sit down with me and like we did at Rutgers and maybe he'll tell me a few things and maybe I'll do a better job from here on out too. Anything else? All set. Thanks a lot.